All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahara Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out of Tolan in his truth. I'm Pathaka Moth, GMS Dallas, and I'm just coming back at you with a really quick exhortation, you know, to you, Akim, Wa Akwathim, you know, who may be low in the spirit. You know, hey, man, keep your head up, keep pushing forward, man. We're in beautiful times. We got a beautiful thing coming, man. We got the kingdom of heaven. And it's at it's at hand, man. You know what I'm saying? And I know we get down in the spirit sometimes. You know, we're in this in, in this weak, defiled flesh. We're in this wicked kingdom. You know, Job 9:24. The earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. You know, into the power of the wicked. You know, which we know that's Esau, the so-called self-proclaimed uh, uh, white man. You know, and uh, you know, hey, within this system and these bodies, hey, man, it gets pretty tough at times. And, and, and you can, hey, we all we get we all go through it. Get a little lower in the spirit sometimes. But hey, it, it, hey, the afflictions, the trials, the tribulations, all these things are part of the story, man. You know, at the end of the day, it's all part of the story. And we got to go through these things because we're that gold, Lord willing. You know, we're part of that number. We're that gold. And, and that gold has to be tried in that furnace, man. You know, a piece of gold uh, uh, has to be put in, in intense heat, man, so that the impurities can be, uh, 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 you know, taken uh, uh, taken out of the uh, uh, of the uh, uh, the gold, man, to get it to its most valuable and purest point. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, and you got to look at yourself as that gold, man. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, and you're gonna go through through uh, different trials and temptations and tribulations and, and and things of this sort. You know, those afflictions, man. So, let me really quick. Let me get Ecclesiasticus, Sirach chapter two, and verse one, and it reads, "My son." If thou come to serve Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, prepare thy soul for temptation. Yeah, man. You know, you're gonna get tempted in this thing, man. You know, you're gonna have to go through some things, man. It's not, it's, it's not gonna be a cakewalk. You know what I'm saying? Set thy verse two, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Sit down, chill out, man. You know what I'm saying? Understand these things. Isaiah 33 and 6. And knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation, man. Chill out. Sit down. Don't be haste, you know. Verse 3, cleave unto him and depart not away. Cleave to Yahweh Bashim Shai and don't depart, man. Hold fast that which is good, man, you know. It says that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Verse 4, whatsoever is bought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. Hey, we're going to go through things, man. Be patient. Take it cheerfully. Of course, we know we ain't going to be just jumping for joy, you know, when things happen. But but that understanding keeps you sane, man. You know, it's like, OK, <laughs> hey, it's the, that just proves the Lord's dealing with me. Exactly, man. You know, take it cheerfully when these things are brought upon you and be patient. This thing is all about patience. You know, Revelations uh, uh, 13 and, and verse 10, man. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints, man. You know, be patient. You know, so it's all about patience. Be patient, man. You know, and suffering being, uh, uh, brings patience, man. You know, when thou art changed to a low estate, man. So when you when you get bought down by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and that because that's who's doing it, understand these things through the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. You got that understanding. Understand this. This is the Lord. You know, this is him uh, uh, dealing with me. This is his chastisement. This is his program. You know, understand these things. And here it is. It's going to explain it right here. Verse verse 5. For gold is tried in the fire. You know, it's got to go through that fire, man, that process, you know, to get purified to that purest, most valuable point, man. Uh, it says an acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, affliction, you know, and that adversity, literally when you go into that word means to be uh, basically be a. Uh, 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 I'm trying to remember the words. Matter of fact, I'll look it up, but I'm trying to remember uh, it's actually misfortune misfortune you know so money financial troubles you know when things get hard man and you get down and out on your luck you know what i'm saying what they call down and out on your luck you know yeah that's the lord man that's part of this thing but we read it for gold is tried in the fire that's that fire man you know so don't don't act or, or, or feel like you know when these things happen to you no don't, don't don't go don't get into the little war is me spirit man you know uh, you know the that that uh, the, uh want the pity party man you know put down a little violin you know what i'm saying and, and understand these things man take it cheerfully as the scriptures 
uh, uh, say, man. You know, we just read it. You know, so understand these things. So let's go back. You know, and let's keep it going. I'm gonna get First Peter. I mean, I'm gonna go uh, First Peter, uh, four and twelve. So again, it says, "Beloved, think think it not strange concerning the fiery trials, which is to try you." You know, we just read that, as though some strange thing happened unto you. Nothing strange is part of it. We got to go through these things, man. You know, verse 13, but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's suffering. Hey, the Lord suffered, man. The Lord went through three things. And then the Lord tell you that you were going to take up your cross. Then he say you were going to drink of the cup that he drank. Understand these things. It's all about knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Isaiah 33 and 6. Come on, man. You know, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy because we're going to be joint heir with him, man. You know, what is that? Romans, the eighth chapter in verse 17, man, that joint heir, man, we're going to, we're going to be this, the same glory that our big brother Yahushai gets when he gets his glory. We're going to be in joint heir, Lord willing, with those men, man, you know, so pick, pick yourself up, you know, dust yourself off and keep pushing forward, man. Hey, we got to go through these things, man. Don't the scripture say in Acts, I'll grab that real quick, the 14th chapter in verse 22. This is Acts 14 and 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. This is exactly what I'm trying to do right now, man, fulfilling this prophecy in scripture right now, man, exhorting you to continue in the faith. I think I said that in the beginning. Keep pushing, man. Keep, keep moving forward toward pressing towards the mark, man. You know, we're at the end. We're at the finish line. It's right there, man. We are almost out of here. So keep the faith, you know, and it says and. And that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the most high. So through tri much tribulation, not a little bit, you know, it says much. And we've been going through it. But guess what? Jacob's trouble is coming. We got some more to go through. We understand we're not at the end as of yet, you know. You know, the end is not yet. Yahweh I said that in Matthew, the 24th chapter. You know, you're going to see the wars, the rumors of wars, the, you know, all these different things. We're seeing those things. But he said, but the end is not yet. Because there's still things that have to be uh, uh, come to pass and be fulfilled, man. Jacob's trouble is one of them. The chip is one of them. World War III is one of them. So there's still things that have to happen, but we're right there, man. We're at the cusp of these things, man. All these things are transpiring right in our face right now, man. So we're at the end of this devil's uh, 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 society, his kingdom, his setup, you know, his rulership, you know. So hey, we we that that's joyful in itself, man. You know, now we know this truth, man, and we understand that we have a kingdom coming, you know, because we were taught the lies of the Christian church and we didn't understand these things at one point. But now we know. So when you have that understanding, you got to keep the, the faith, man. Keep those positive uh, uh, thoughts and vibes, man, you know. So uh, uh, through much tribulation. So we got to go through the, those tribulations. So, those, uh, again, those are the afflictions, the trials, the tribulations, all these things we have to go through. But. It's all part of the Lord's setup, his story, man. You know, we got to go through these things, man. You know, so don't, don't, don't feel it strange. Don't think it's strange when these things happen, man. You know, because we all go through it. So we're going to keep it going. Second Corinthians chapter four. And verse 17, and it reads for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. So this was a light affliction, man, because we're all worthy of death, man. You know what I'm saying? Our righteousness is a, as a filthy rags, as, as the uh, uh, the scriptures say, man. So this is a light affliction, man. You know, the Lord could have, should have, he had the right to just take all of us out, man. Put all of us to death. You know, we've all done things worthy of death, you know. But instead, the Lord has given us an opportunity at life, man, because he's life. You know, that's what he is, man. You know, and he's given us an opportunity, you know, and we got to, we're in the best position possible that you can be on the planet Earth, man. You know, we got a good opportunity here. So it says for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, moment because, you know, to the Lord, it's, it's, it's been a short period of time. You know, one day to the Lord is as a thousand years to us, you know, so it's seemed like a long time to us, but it hasn't been that long, man, you know. But it says it worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory, which is the coming kingdom, man. You know, we got the kingdom of heaven to look forward to. These devils and these nations, well, the nation's going to be all right after a thousand years, you know. 
You know, but but Esau, man, that dude is through, man. He has nothing to look forward to, man, but obliteration and, and extermination, man. After the hardcore, uh, a thousand years, hardcore slavery, man. You know, that dude's fate is over. He's going to receive no mercy, man. The only uh, uh, nation that's going to receive no mercy. You know, so Esau is the one that should be down and out. But this nigga is, 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 is going crazy right now, going ball to the wall, you know trying to avoid and stop these things that he cannot avoid nor stop man you know because he bugged out man this dude is a bug out you know <laughs> ultimate bug out man you know trying to offset the prophecies like he can you know so no 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 keep your head up man you know keep pressing towards the mark this is verse 18 while we look not at the things which are seen you know we look not at the things which are seen these carnal things right here in this in this current society and kingdom, man, this wicked kingdom, man, these carnal things, man, that this devil would try to offer you. You know, we look not towards these things, but at the things which are not seen, the kingdom of heaven, the glorified bodies, man. You know what I'm saying? The law, statutes and commandments put in our inward parts, you know, that that new covenant, you know. All the things that are coming, man, that, that are promised to us, all the promises, man, everything that we're going to receive. We look forward to those things, man, you know. It says, for the things which are seen are temporal. Yeah, this right here that you can see right here is, is, is about to be destroyed, man. The Lord is going to destroy this place and all this stuff, man, you know. But the things which are not seen are eternal. The coming kingdom is forever. It's eternal. It's never ending. You know what I'm saying? All of those blessings and everything uh, uh, that, that comes with the coming kingdom are eternal. There's no end to them. You know, the Lord said he's going to give us our, our, our heart's delight, man. Whatever we can. And right and right now, really, we can't even, you know, the things that you can go into your wildest imagination of, of, of things you may, may want right now in these bodies. And it's only a, an inkling of what the Lord is going to actually do for us, man, because we can't think on the level of the Lord. That's why he tells you his our thoughts are not his thoughts, man. His ways are higher than our ways, man. We, we can't even try to start fathoming. The th you know, the things that, we, how it's actually going to be, you know, and, and believe you me, we, we, we can come up with some nice things, man, but it's going to surpass that by, by man. Oh my goodness. I can't wait, man. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, cheer up, come out of it, man. You know, if you're down in the spirit, there is no reason to be down in the spirit, man. You know, we in good case, man. We, we, hey, this is beautiful, man. This is Psalms chapter 30 and verse five for his anger endureth but a moment. In his favor is life. So his anger is, is, is but for a moment, man. It's going to endure for a moment, you know. Like I said, you know, and, and, and of course, we uh, 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 moved the, the Lord to wrath, man. Baruch 4, you know. So he didn't, he, didn't, he didn't do these things to destroy us, but because we moved him to wrath, man. You know, the, the nation of Israel is a hard-headed, stiff-necked people, you know. Understand these things, man. You deserve everything that you've really, you deserve more, you know what I'm saying? But everything we're go we went through and, and, hey, we deserve it, man. You know, take it. Suck that up because what we're about to receive, man, it's going to far exceed anything we went through, man. You know, but that moment, man, you know, for his anger endureth but a moment. In, fa in, his, in his favor is life, man, because the most high is life, man. Yahweh Bashim Shai is life. You know, he's not death. This nigga here that's ruling the earth is death. You know, weeping may endure for a night. So, yeah, we've been crying day in, day out in this in this dark place, man, because the, the children of the night are in rulership. The children of darkness are in rulership, man. You know, and, and Jake is getting put to death and, and, and treated like horribly and oppressed and just, you know, it's just terrible here, man. So that's that weeping. But it may endure for a night. But joy cometh in the morning, man. So, hey. That new day, man, you know, Yahweh Shai, the day star, man, that's going to bring that, that, that new day, you know, that new beginning, the new heavens, the new earth, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is a beautiful thing, man. You know, this is nothing to be sad about, down and out about, man. Nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? We got good things coming to us, man. This is Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 8. In a little wrath, I hid my face from so, so like in a little wrath, I hit my face from thee for a moment. Again, that moment, man. It's a short period of time, man. It hadn't been that long. You know, a few hundred years, man. Not even a full day. But with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee. 
everlasting. That's synonymous with the kingdom. Everlasting kindness. The Lord is going to have mercy on us, man. And he's going to give you your heart's desire. He's going to give you every, any and everything you can desire in righteousness, man. You know, Seth, Yahweh, Bashimel, Shai, Thy Redeemer. These are the things we have coming to us, man. You know, nothing to be down and out about, man. Everything to be happy and, and, and exceeding happy, exceeding joyous, as the scriptures say. You know, this is Romans chapter 8 and verse 18. And it reads, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Yeah, the little stuff we went through, the suffering, the few hundred years of, of, of slavery and, and, and being beaten and, and, and Jake getting put to death and just everything, being oppressed, you know, had a boot up our tail for, for, for all this time. You know, hey, cool. OK, yeah, it was horrible while, while it happened. But hey, we're at the end of it now, man. You know, this devil is, is really at the end of the day. He can't he, right now. He can't even touch the elect, man, much as he may want to. You know, we go out on the, on the highways and byways week in and week out, and this nigga can't do nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. For, for I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. There's no comparison, man. The little things we've been through, no comparison, man. You know? Keep it moving. This is Matthew 5. In verse 12, and it, and, and it reads, rejoice. It's red letters. Yahweh Shai is speaking. He's telling you to rejoice and be exceeding glad. For great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. So rejoice and be exceeding glad. For great is your reward in heaven. We ain't worried about nothing. These, these you know, the two-third, these, these, these nations, these devils. We ain't worried about none of it, man. You know, we understand that they're going to come against us. We understand that we're going to go through things, man. The knowledge, man, you know, it gives you those understandings, you know. So if you if you got the playbook, there is no reason. Come on, man. We got the playbook. We got the ultimate playbook. We know what the moves that they're going to make. So if you know they're coming out after you, you know they're coming at you. What's the come on, man. There's no surprise there. There's no surprise element. You shouldn't get caught off guard, man. You know, the two thirds is going to get caught slipping. Thief in the night is coming for them, you know, but us, come on, man. And the Lord said rejoice. So we're supposed to be happy and be ex exceeding glad, man. Why? Because we have this knowledge. We have this understanding and we know what that's going to lead to. It's going to lead to the kingdom because the knowledge is the beginning of the kingdom. You know, come on, man. Great is your reward in heaven. Yes, man. You know, hey, Whew, man. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. Come on, man. You know, we're the last in this kingdom. So uh, come on, man. The scriptures say it. You know, your Jay-Z's, Oprah's and, and all these top, you know, of our nation on this side, they're going to be last in the kingdom. We're on the bottom of this. You know, we, we ain't got it like that here. So we're going to be first in the kingdom. That's something to shout about. That's something to be happy about, to rejoice about, man, to be glad about. You know why? Because I'm going to read it to you and bring this last scripture out and I'm going to show you why, man. This is what Yahweh Shai said right here. This is uh, Luke chapter 12 and verse 32. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. It's his good pleasure to give you the kingdom, man. Come on. That's a beautiful thing. Come on, y'all. You know, pick yourself up. Dust yourself off, man. You know. Keep pushing forward, man. Keep pressing towards the mark. It's right there. The finish line is right there. We're almost out of here, man. So, hey, I just want to, again, this is a little exhortation, you know, affliction, trials, tribulations, all those things, which I bought out scriptures with all those afflictions, trials, tribulations. It's all part of this thing. We got to go through it. Let, hey, keep, hey, let's just press through it, man. Take that and let's keep going, man. You know, we're almost out of here. The end is right in our face. It's manifesting daily, you know, and we're about to go home, man. So, uh, with that, hopefully this was edifying to the hopeful elect, giving all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect, the house of David, the Bayath, Shal Dawadash, Shalom.